to chew on something where we chew on something for the taste buds and the mind thank you so much for joining us for our 14th episode appreciate you tuning in and we have something fun today what we have soprano Another quick and easy recipe. And quick and easy. <laughs> Favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> and also for a tip, because we are entering into the holiday season. Well, we just finished Thanksgiving. Right. Friendsgiving. Mm-hmm. All types of giving. All types Whatever of giving. Whatever giving yes. you want. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Sisterhood giving. Yes. You know, everything. <laughs> Whatever day, but... Because we're entering into this holiday season, and especially we have these like big festivities with family and cooking holidays. And all types of glorious foods that <sighs> sometimes you don't want to be eating, but taste so good. <laughs> Those type of foods. Yes. But, you know, uh, holidays are in moderation. They don't come around. Well, exactly. they do come around every year, but you know what I mean? It's not like once every few weeks or something right you know? so yeah. you do these big family gatherings mm-hmm. so it's fine to indulge them but i do find that drinking a smoothie in the morning before uh, well, the day of cooking and it will curb your appetite yeah so mm-hmm. curb your appetite prevent you from overstuffing yourself overeating overeating mm-hmm. yes because you know, that's not good of, for your digestive system yeah. at all. And a lot of times, too, because you'll be overeating all the types of foods that you shouldn't be overeating. Yes. It's not like you're sitting doing a holiday yeah. overeating a bowl of apples, you know what I'm saying? Eating a big kale <laughs> salad. <laughs> yeah, less of the apple pie. But yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm overeating kale. <laughs> <laughs> you would probably need to eat, like, ten bat, Like, not even. There was, it's so funny, the kale. amount of calories and kale. Like, you could eat a humongous like when you box cook, of kale and still when it equal. a whole bag. Like you saute a whole bag yes. in a frying pan, for instance. And the whole bag will be, like, not even half of the pan. Yes. Kind of like a bag of chips, you know? Yeah, I mean, you open a bag of chips and there's nothing in there. A, a, ba- a big bag of spinach or a big container of spinach, like this big, mm-hmm. this high, will, if you saute it, will literally come about yeah. to this yeah, month. Yeah, it'll come to that size. This much spinach. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, but of course, like, food is much better in its natural raw state. So right. the better The closer is, to nature. Yes, the closer know? it is it is to the whole food source, the better it is for you. But sometimes, like, cooking things can bring out different components of foods. Like, mm. the, the act of oh. heat releases different compounds. Well, we always say it's going to activate. Yes, stuff. it activates. Yeah. So, so, so many- with... Tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. So that's what releases we're a certain mm-hmm. chemical. Said mm-hmm. it was like Clark Kent. The tomato was like Clark Kent, but when you cooked it, it turned into Superman. Yes. It was activated. Yes. Yeah. So mm-hmm. some things heat will activate oh, certain I like foods. That. Yes. Uh, you become a superhero when it's activated. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Superman that kale. Or Superwoman that kale. Yes. Mm-hmm. So today we're making haven't thought of a name yet. No. But it does have pears, so pear is the main ingredient. Pears and ginger. Pear for that hair. No, I was going to say pear <laughs> for that hair, you know. <laughs> Christy Kedema. They're like, oh, look, that's the secret ingredient, <laughs> pears for the hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so it, pears and ginger, but also carrots, frozen bananas, lemongrass, Honey, also two servings of protein powder, so mm-hmm. one for each of us, and coconut milk. Okay. And also, the reason why, from last time, remember we made the popsicles? Mm-hmm. Ginger is what I had wanted to include in the last recipe, right. because 
Ginger is so good for you. It, I love ginger. It's so good. I put it in everything. I, I like ginger like I like cheese. But ginger is healthy for you. Right. Yes. I mean, I like cheese better than ginger, but... I like them equally. I know ginger is much better for me. Ginger's just good for you. Jesus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. I don't want to say it's much better. It's just good for you. <laughs> but ginger, besides being delicious, I mean, mm. I love it too. Yeah, you can put food, drinks, mm -hmm. cocktails. Mm. Yes, it's really good in cocktails. It sure is. Uh, yeah. But like ginger, because it's such a powerful medicinal... Um, it's a superfood, y'all. It is. It's, it's, it's powerful medicinal qualities. Um, it has tons of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. It also has compounds that prevent damage to your body's DNA. Helps prevent stress. Oh, like, like re reconstructs the DNA? Well, it helps from, <laughs> from damage. Oh, wow. So, you know, if you want to... Keep your younger years and keep those older years at bay. Not Benjamin that there's a problem is, getting older. Yeah. I'm just saying taking care of your body and right. the way that your body reacts to age. Yeah, you want a Benjamin Button the inside. Yes, you know, like exactly. Benjamin Button those insides. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, someone could yeah. look great on the outside, right. but what's going on inside could yeah, be a because completely older, different story. It is a beautiful thing, but you can still be healthy mm -hmm. as you get older. Yes, well, I mean, there's a lot of people that look great out there, but... What's going on in the inside? It mm -hmm. might be a completely different story. Benjamin Button, those insides. Yes. <laughs> Nerd alert. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. <laughs> um, so it contains a natural component actually called gingerol. Mm. So gingerol helps to benefit gastrointestinal motility. It sounds like it does it. Yes. So, <laughs> basic, so basically gastrointestinal motility is the rate in which your body... Uh, breaks down the food so mm. it it's it's more of the way that the the rate of the food moves through the stomach that's exactly okay. what it means so ginger can help promote a more efficient digestion which means that contents in your stomach will move along faster and move along on its way on that digestive process much quicker so you won't have uh, food just lingering and sitting in your gut and, and rotten yeah. rotten y'all <laughs> I found out that you can just have, see, Brian told me on our last episode. Was that our last episode? It was the one episode, before. Yeah, the episode before that. Episode 12. Yeah. That food just sitting up in your stomach, rotten. Right. I mean, it eventually will break down. Your body will eventually break it down because you have acids. The body's right. really good at, like, wanting to heal it, heal yourself. It wants to heal constantly, so it will break that food down, but it will linger longer yeah, just, in your stomach, yeah, just right, sitting there. Just right. and so this is what causes a lot of like bloating and gassing and indigestion yeah, like and a, acid reflux. A cemetery in your stomach, just yeah. sitting there rotten, mm -hmm. like a cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> so ginger oil will prevent that. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it will help, but it oh, also okay. depends on what else is going on in your body. Oh, okay. like, yeah. Someone could else have different autoimmune diseases and yeah. things like that. That's why like when we talk about nutrition and give tips, it all depends on where your system and your immunity is at now. Got it. You know, so okay. but yes, it does benefit digestion and more mm. efficient digestion. So it's good for everyone. Oh, okay. Mm. Sounds good. I also read that um ginger is really good for relieving menstrual. Yes, yes, pain. pain yes. Those studies, I mean it's still ongoing, but it's really encouraging. Yeah. 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 Ginger is just as powerful as ibuprofen. Yeah, because you know, for us I really try to stay away from like aspirin, aspirin. And stuff like that. Yeah, so next time you're feeling something, don't take a Tylenol. Make yourself something with ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that have ginger powder too? Yes. Stuff? And also if you're dehydrated, you can get headaches from dehydration. So a lot of times people think yes. like to get rid of headaches, yes. amp up on your water, and that can actually alleviate Mm -hmm. Headaches sometimes, depending on the situation. You know. And ginger helps with weight loss. Yeah, I love to hear that. Mm -hmm. you know? And you're trying to lose a little weight. And it also may help lower cholesterol, aid in lowering mm -hmm. cholesterol as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All kinds of things. <laughs> it's a superfood. <laughs> exactly, it is. And delicious. So what we're going to do is just throw all of this in the blender. Oh. Quick and easy. Yes. Oh, and also I forgot to add, I usually use a cup 
and a half of ice because oh, okay. it really aids in like the thickness and right. makes it super cold. So usually I'll use about a cup and a half of ice. Okay. So I'll throw that in. Actually, no, I'll put the pears in first. I already cut some pears up here and I use two pears for the smoothie. Okay. And then these are two servings of protein powder. Mm -hmm. I use one banana, sometimes okay. two, but for this one I'll use one. Coconut milk. And ice. And I'll throw in, I'll just throw in one ginger straw. Mm -hmm. so uh, and we said carrots, you know, they have carotenoids in it. I just learned this, which is a pigment that a plant produced. So if you eat too much of it, your skin can turn orange and yellow. Mm. So you literally turn into what you eat. <laughs> That's saying that you are what you eat. It takes it to a whole new level, y'all. But you have to eat large amounts. <laughs> I mean, you have to be sitting there eating carrots all day, every day for a very long time. So. I mean, kudos to you if you're eating that much carrots. Yeah, I mean, your eyesight is phenomenal, though. You, you could be orange, but at least you could see, like, spectacularly. You'll be able to see that orange tint yeah, yeah. so much better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great for the eyes, so. Could be orange, but you could be, like, a... You could be Top Gun, you know? 2020. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to turn the blender on and get this all to mix in. <laughs> Peach. Yeah, it's peach like color. a peach pink. Mm -hmm. Pasty pink. <laughs> you say pasty pink? <laughs> doesn't sound too... Oh, no, it doesn't. Appetizer. Well, it's the first thing that came to mind when I saw the color. Mm. Tastes like a milkshake. It sure does. Hmm. Hmm. This is phenomenal. Mm. I feel like I added a little bit more ginger in there. This is phenomenal. You didn't even put any honey in it. No, I did mm. because I already had it in the coconut milk mm. when I mixed in. Mm. This is fabulous. I mean, you usually reserve that for like the way someone looks. <laughs> this drink is fabulous. <laughs> it's fabulous, darling. It's fabulous. fabulous. <laughs> it's called fashion. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, thank you, TK. It does oh, wow. taste a lot like a milkshake. It does. Though. A great recipe for kids. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty yummy. I think I would add more ginger in it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of tastes perfect to me. Okay. <laughs> Good. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Real simple, real quick to make. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Quick and easy. Mm -hmm. So, this is a short one. Next week, we'll be returning to a little bit of a long discussion. Yes. Not too long. Though. Yeah, not too long, but definitely back to our discussion because we have plenty to talk about. We sure do. Let's give them something to talk about. Da, 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 da. So much mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on our 14th episode. And as always, sending out so much love and positive vibes to you. Yep. And just remember, no matter where you are in your journey today, it's never too late to make changes that can benefit your future. Yeah. And start today. Exactly. Yeah. Start now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> like right now. Yes. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on to on something. something.